At a small shop in Tanzania's commercial capital, Dar es Salaam, customers have no doubt which drink they want to buy. More than 60 years after Coca-Cola first started bottling its high sugar fizz in the sweltering coastal country, the giant U.S. corporation has serious competition. That's because local family-run companies are launching their own lines, offering bottles that are both cheaper and bigger, undercutting prices in an effort to win over the fragile middle, emerging consumers whose pockets are permanently stretched. Mr. Kavumbi says he sells a case of fizzy drinks every day and that cheaper rivals to Coca-Cola, with lower price tags and bigger volumes, are doing a better trade. The biggest competition comes from the Bacresa family, whose $600 million turnover corporation has recently launched Azam Cola. They believe they now have more than 15% of soft drinks custom and that, by offering recyclable plastic bottles at cheaper prices, they are also expanding the market to reach some of Tanzania's poorest consumers. In front of me are some of the 60,000 cases a day that come out of this factory, which is at the heart of Tanzania's very new cola wars, which is taking over the city and eventually, manufacturers hope, the whole country. Adija Saeed, who runs a drink stall at a city bus station, tells me sales of glass bottles have come almost to a halt, as customers now prefer plastic bottles they can take away and that will last the whole journey. Coca-Cola has now also started manufacturing plastic bottles in an effort to keep up. While Tanzania's $30 billion economy is growing at an impressive 7% a year, just as many people are poor today as they were 15 years ago. Agricultural output, the mainstay of the economy, remains low compared to retail, one of the fastest growing sectors in the country. The late finance minister, William Gimwa, told me last year that Tanzania's nascent middle class remains fragile. There is no clear evidence that the, the emergence of middle class will be sustainable unless we create economic, uh, economic undertakings that will sustain them with that level of income. What do you mean? Create more industries, create more employment, shut down the cost of doing business. The cost of living is still higher than it might be. Many blame corruption and congestion at the port, which serves not just Tanzania, but the entire East African hinterland. Now, if it's not immediately clear what the port and consumers in Tanzania have in common, you don't need only look as far as this line behind me. It can take 10 days to get into this port because the queue is so long. And clearing goods can sometimes, in some cases, take up to 20 days. Now, the World Bank in a report this year said that that is costing the Tanzania economy $1.8 billion a year. That's the equivalent of Such log jams hurt the country's fragile middle. Local conglomerates struggle to lower their prices even as they try to tempt some of Tanzania's poorest spenders to consume more. Katrina Manson, Financial Times, Dar es Salaam.